What is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be talking about a recent change Fortnite just announced coming to future Fortnite battle passes. And this mostly affects the game modes other than BR. But if you are interested in some of the cosmetics from those other modes, but never wanted to get the passes because you didn't want to play them, this is going to be something that affects you. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, find it helpful, informative, interesting, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below what you think of this change. I not affected by this much at all but i still think it's a good change so what they said is fortnite continues to evolve with new experiences like lego fortnite rocket racing fortnite festival and thousands of creator made islands soon fortnite's past progression system will change to reward players regardless of what they play by december 1st so this doesn't affect the game for future or like passes that are currently ongoing but december 1st onward all passes in Fortnite will progress simultaneously by earning XP from playing any experience. And I was, I saw this and I was like, how is this different? Because I thought this is already ha what happened. But this is only for Battle Royale currently and it didn't affect those other game modes. So the Battle Royale Battle Pass currently levels from XP gained in any experience, like I said. The next pass to get this treatment will be the upcoming Music Pass, formerly known as Festival Pass. The music pass will also progress from XP gained from any source starting on November 2nd. So this affects every game mode December 1st onward, but the next festival pass is being renamed to a music pass and you will be able to level that just from playing any game mode. You don't have to play festival for it starting on November 2nd. With Fortnite Festival Season 6 and the next season of Fortnite Battle Royale, on December 1st, the change will be applied to Brick to the brick or treat lego pass i had to like stop and like make sure i actually read what i just saw okay so on december the brick or treat lego pass will be affected by this okay uh similar and then there's more pass simplifications similar to how the battle pass works music and lego passes released after december 1st will change to one track with both free and premium rewards as you progress through past tiers with XP, you'll be able to claim rewards on the unlocked pages of what active passes you have. Rewards may be claimed in non-sequential order on all passes in the same way you can with the battle pass now. I guess previously the other passes you had to do in order. I'm not too sure. I didn't care about them. Uh, you also be able to set each pass to auto claim the next reward when it becomes available to you. I like that because I'm someone who rarely goes into the battle pass to like actually confirm things. I usually just get to like level 100 or whatever it is and then do everything all at once to simplify things once all past progress using xp will be retiring festival points on november 2nd i don't know what that is uh followed by battle stars and studs on december 1st once these earned currencies are retired the battle pass music pass and lego pass will simply unlock rewards for you to claim as you earn xp uh so I don't know what this means. I think as it is now, when you level, you earn battle stars, and then you can use those stars to get what you want out of the pass. But now, I guess you just get a reward for every level. And then once these currency are retired, the battle pass music packs will simply unlock rewards for you to claim as you earn XP. So this is, I, I yeah, this is kind of confusing to me because they said you can still do it in non-sequential order. So I think you'll still be able to choose what you want, but they're just getting rid of those currencies and just making it one thing, I guess. You still need to purchase the Battle Pass, Music Pass, and or Lego Pass separately to access all premium rewards in each pass. Stay tuned and you'll have an easy way to snag all premium passes at once. So they are going to make some sort of bundle where you'll be able to get all of them for one purchase. Um, I'm wondering if they'll make like an upgraded tier of Fortnite crew that combines it all as well. Want something from pass you haven't unlocked yet? Instead of buying levels to unlock rewards, you'll now be able to directly purchase pass rewards up to the allowed limit without progressing on them, progressing to them on any pass you have purchased. So you can just buy the thing rather than buying levels. I don't know how that really changes anything. They're just changing how you purchase it. Uh, this is actually what I was interested in. Simultaneously, simultaneous pass progression FAQ. How does progressing multiple passes simultaneously work? Earn XP in any experience in Fortnite and you'll progress across all active battle passes simultaneously. The XP you earn will be applied to all Fortnite passes, but individual passes may require different amounts of XP in order to advance to the next reward tier. So when I was initially reading this, I was wondering like, are you going to have to choose to level up BR pass 
And then while you're doing that, your Lego pass or music isn't getting leveled, but that's not true. They're all working at the same time. So if you get 100 XP, that 100 XP is applied at the same time to all the passes, uh, which is a good thing, I think. If they were like kind of being scummy and trying to force you to like play more, I feel like you would have to like choose. Um, I like the rewards in the music pass and Lego pass. Can I progress them by playing something besides festival and Lego? Yeah, that was the whole point of this uh, announcement. When will the move away from festival points happen? November 2nd and December 1st. I'm, uh, and then when will Lego passes and move it, music passes move to one track on the next ones, I think? New music and Lego passes released after December 1st will be on one track, both free and premium rewards. Okay. How does directly, directly purchasing a reward on one pass affect my progression on another? Buying rewards directly on one pass will not progress or affect your other active passes. Okay, so this is why they're changing that, by the way, I think. So the whole thing about, where was it at? Where they talked about how instead, yeah, okay. If you want something you haven't unlocked, instead of buying levels now, you'll buy the reward itself. And the reason why they're making it to where you buy the reward itself rather than levels is because if you bought the levels for it, you would get rewarded on each pass at the same time. This is basically just making people potentially have to buy more stuff. If you were buying levels and that level unlocked you something on BR, Lego, and Festival, that'd be a lot of value for that one purchase, right? But now, since you have to buy the thing individually, if you do want to buy levels, you'll buy like progress on your BR pass without buying progress on your... Lego or festival, even though they are all leveled the same. So I think that's why they like made it like this um, was so you didn't just buy one pass and then get the rewards on all of them. If you wanted to buy through every pass, it would cost you the amount that it would cost. It wouldn't just all be a done on one thing. But overall, I think this is a good thing. Uh, and I think the player counts of festival would kind of reflect that like festival hasn't been doing great at all. Lego's done okay. But there's a lot of people that are like BR exclusively players still. And you might have been turned off from buying the festival pass in the past, even if you wanted the rewards because you didn't want to play festival. Whereas like now, if you do like the music pass for that season, or you do like the Lego pass for that season, but you don't want to play those game modes, you just want those rewards for BR, uh, you can level them by playing BR or by playing creative. So I think overall, this is a good change. Um, and yeah, there's not too much to talk about there aside from the changes itself. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you think this is a good or bad change and what you think of, you know, this affecting the game overall. I, I really don't think it's that big of a deal. I, I think early on they wanted to make the passes separately to kind of like encourage people to play those game modes. But now after a year of that, it seems to not be, you know, working out. And so they're just monetizing everybody. Like... If you had the festival pass be exclusive to festival, you're only monetizing festival players in a way, and there aren't very many of them. And you might have BR players that like that stuff, but they're not going to play festival. Whereas now that you can level the festival pass by playing BR, they are monetizing a bigger uh, section of the Fortnite community. And I think the festival pass has like skins in it, right? I don't know what the Lego pass has in it, but I'm pretty sure the festival characters, each time there's been one, there's been one in the pass and then one in the shop. And if you wanted both, you had to buy the shop one and level the festival pass by playing festival. But now you can play VR to do that. And so with the next festival pass being Snoop Dogg, you will be able to get the festival version of him while playing Chapter 2 Remix. Or yeah, I think it'll be Chapter 2 Remix during that time. You won't have to actually play a festival to get it. So I think that is a good change. I think just making it all XP based does just make it simpler. And if you are someone who likes playing all these other game modes, and you like having all the passes, this is just going to make it more convenient for you to level them all because everything you do contributes to everything. Uh, the only real concern I had with this or thing that I thought would have been scummy was if they made it to where you had to choose which one you were leveling at that given time and then do it all separately. But since it's all simultaneous, I think this is a good change. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.